Hey Ross World, my money makes money. Diversification, and this is not really the name of the topic, but this is foreign stock markets. Foreign stock markets. I know I don't talk too much about it, but today I will quite briefly. Diversification, we talk about how you invest in bonds, stocks, even real estate. But this is the thing. Sometimes when the American stock market goes down 30, 40 points, the foreign markets, because I used to think that when our stock market go down, so does the whole world because we're the leaders. Sometimes their markets raise three, four, five, six percent. So how do you have total diversification on your financial portfolio? Foreign stock markets. Not only just American stock markets, but foreign stock markets. And you're just like, well, I don't know about, you know, investing into markets that's not the U.S., Listen, guys, everybody's making money. You ever heard of Forex trading? Look it up. You'll see that Forex trading is a lot of international trading. But I'm talking about foreign stock market, and guess what you can, you can uh, reference these stocks at? On Robinhood. Robinhood a beast, bro. <laughs> I had to take a time out of the video to tell you that Robinhood is a beast. Free? Really? Capital One lost all my money. Anyway, foreign stock market. So... Let me give you some countries. I have a list here. And with China, I wrote down a list of stocks. And I think, that, well, I think that's the only people I really wrote down a list of stocks with. But I gave you some countries that have stock markets and you can go and research these stocks. Now, even some of these markets actually have index funds as well. So the UK, United Kingdom, we all know they have a stock market. Research, research, research. I can't, do, see, this is the point, guys. These videos will be hours if I research and gave you all the information. But the hard work that you put in, you will reap the rewards, okay? You'll reap the rewards. So the UK, United Kingdom. Next is Germany. Germany has a stock market. China and India. China, India, Germany, and the United Kingdom. Now, I'm going to focus on China because we all know Alibaba Express is kind of like the Chinese Amazon. And we know how good Amazon is doing, but Alibaba Express is doing pretty good too, guys. It's really doing pretty good. Because um, I really don't buy nothing off of Alibaba Express, but I have been on there and they have some good products. I buy some of my stuff off like DHgate. That's kind of my website I like to go to. But anyway, without further ado, here are some Chinese ETFs. For you to look into and i hooked you guys up this time i even gave you the price i usually don't do that because i want you guys to do what the research i know i'm off of it so here we go here's some chinese etfs and we can end this damn video y i n n okay these are the the tickers and symbols guys so i'm not really telling you a word it's the tickers and symbols or codes whatever you want to call it y i n n okay that stock is $28. XPP, that's XPP. That stock is $72. CHIM, C-H-I-M, C-H-I-M. That stock is $19. Here's the one you've been waiting for. Alibaba, B-A-B-A, -B -A, Baba, B-A-B-A. -B -A. That stock is $175. And if you look at the five-year trend, it's been rising to the top. I'm telling you, it's been doing pretty good. S-I-N-A. S-I-N-A. That stock is $103. The next one is Weibo. I, I'm just reading the way it looks, but it's probably not pronounced that way. That is spelled W-E-I-B-O, but the ticker, the symbol is W-B. The ticker for that one is W-B. That's $97, okay, $97. And believe it or not, this is kind of like their social network and internet sort of thing. And of course, Alibaba mimics Amazon, so some, some sort of e-merse online market stuff. So foreign stock market, guys, research those other countries. I gave you China because China is a powerhouse of products. Because if you don't want to invest in China... You shouldn't invest in anybody else because if you look around your house and you pick up a cup, you pick up a plate, you pick up a TV, well, not TVs because I usually buy LG, uh, yeah, Samsung or Sony, but you pick up any product, that thing is going to say made in China. So why not? Why not? 
Why not invest in some companies or a country that 90% of the stuff in your house is made in China? They just got stamped Ashley on it. <laughs> but it's made in China. This is Ross World where uh, we love the U.S. This is our country. But you can make money all the way around the globe. And we will. I'm out.